pancit. It's a delicious Filipino dish of noodles, vegetables, and some type of meat. So what I have here are the pancit canton noodles, and these are the noodles that are used in my cookbook, A Taste of Guam. Instead of cutting the noodles after you've put them inside the pot, go ahead and smash your package a little bit, and this will break up the noodles. In my cookbook, I write to scissor cross the um, noodles to cut them, which is basically using two knives once the noodles are cooked. But here, just smash a little bit, and then that's done. I also use the Mr. Yoshida's marinade and cooking sauce in my pancit recipe. It just adds a great, wonderful flavor without using too much soy sauce. So this can be found at a Sam's Club or Costco. You can even order this online. Just Google Mr. Yoshida's Original Gourmet Sweet and Savory Sauce. In the pot I've got four tablespoons of vegetable oil and then just add the onion. And we're gonna let this cook just for a few minutes to soften slightly. It's basically non-stop cooking here when you've got the vegetables going. So make sure you have all of your ingredients prepped and ready to go. This is on medium heat and the exact measurements are in a taste of Guam. Keep moving it around so the onions don't brown too quickly. And we'll have plenty of time to cook and soften. And add your meat. You can add it all at once. And move it around. Gonna cook this until it's brown. And again, the pot is on medium heat. Open your package of noodles as the meat cooks. You also want to have a tong ready at the side once you add the noodles. And make sure you have the cover for the pot handy as well. We'll let this brown some more and then we'll add the flavorings, the vegetables, and the noodles. Okay, you can see the meat has browned. And look at all the beef broth mixing with the oil down there. That's good. It'll flavor the pancit. Add Mr. Yoshida sauce. A little bit of soy sauce. And some black pepper. Give that a whirl. I also included a couple of tablespoons of your favorite white wine in my recipe. I don't have any today but you can certainly use it if you have it. Adds just a little bit more flavor. Okay, then we'll add the vegetables. So I've got yellow bell peppers. I didn't have any green today. Carrots, 
celery and the cabbage. Just pour it all in. Mix it up. This is really a quick and easy dish to prepare. Especially if you chop the vegetables the day before, <laughs> which is what I did. A good way to use up what's left in your vegetable drawer. We're going to cook this until the vegetables soften a bit. Okay, I'm ready to add the noodles. Just pour it all in there. Fills my pot. Okay, you can reduce your heat if you like. Just a tad under medium. And pour about a half cup of the chicken stock you have over the noodles and cover and just leave it covered. Make sure they're all in there. Okay, don't open it and this is going to soften the noodles. All right. That's my timer. So, just kind of stir this around. Use your tongue to pick up stuff. If you notice that uh, your panza is burning at the bottom, then turn your heat down, but not too low. Keep it just under medium, between medium and medium low. Okay. By looking at the noodles, I, I can see that they still need to cook a little bit more moisture. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of that chicken stock. Give it a stir here. And the noodle is going to absorb all of that moisture. And we'll cover this back up for another three minutes. Time is up. Let's have a look. Okay, you can see all the moisture is gone from the bottom. Give it a stir and turn your heat off. It looks delicious and ready to go. I did not put that much oil in here, so if you want and you like your pants oily, you can add a little bit more. And I just made this last week. I'm going to add maybe a tablespoon more. His pants, it should be oily. <laughs> so there we go. We are done. And I cannot wait to have a small plate. And there you go.